hi guys welcome to the channel is d here once again and um today i'll be showing you how to draft this shoulder that bust here so if this is something you're interested in learning how to make kindly keep watching if you are new here please subscribe to the channel and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so so much for watching so the first thing you want to do is to fold your pattern paper into two and then start by drawing a straight line which is your starting point so from this starting point we are going to be drawing another line downwards which is your half length which is your shoulder to your waistline so for this tutorial my half length is 18 inches so i just placed my tape on the starting point and marked 18 inches across the paper so guys the next thing you want to do is to insert your shoulder measurement so mine is 18 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches so go ahead and mark 8 inches after marking that we're going to measure our um, home measurement that's our bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches and so i have 8.5 inches i'm going to place 8.5 inches on that 8 point mark and mark it as well so from this point i'm going to place the tape the other way and make sure the armhole starts at exactly eight points after making sure it's exactly eight points we're going to go ahead and draw a straight line so after marking your chest line go ahead and draw a straight line on the point where your armhole stops that will be a chest line after drawing the straight line you want to go ahead and label it chest line and blouse length so the next line we are going to be drawing is our shoulder to nipple measurement so for this tutorial we are making use of 12 inches as shoulder to nipple measurement so go ahead mark your 12 inches and draw a straight line across your paper after doing that and labeling it sn shoulder to nipple the next line we are going to be drawing is our under bust point so our under bust point is 15 inches so i was going to go ahead and put our tape on 15 inches and draw a straight line so after doing that i went ahead to insert my nipple nipple measurements unfortunately you can't see that part of the paper but i made use of four inches all the way from the bust point up to the chest line so after marking your nipple to nipple point, go ahead and draw a straight line to connect the lines together. So just before we get right into the dots, we are going to be touching our neckline. So I'm making use of 4 inches of shoulder width and then 4 inches of neck width. So I'm going down by 4 inches on the neck depth as well. Then use your curve driller to connect the lines together to give you your neckline the next thing you want to do is create your shoulder slope by one inch and connect the points together so the next thing i'll be doing is my armhole so i'll be measuring this line by two and then on that point i'm going to be coming in by 0 0.5 inches i'm going to place 0 0.5 inches inwards and mark it then use my curve driller to create my armhole curve Let's get right into the dart. So for this dart, I'll be taking out 2 inches on the bust line and 2 inches on the other bust. So I'm going to mark 1 inch to the left and 1 inch to the right and then draw a straight line to connect it together. So on this um, shoulder to nipple point, that's on the nipple point, I'm going to go down by half an inch and go up by half an inch so because i don't want it to be pointed and i don't want to connect my points to that um, nipple point so i'll be connecting that half inch i came down with to the under bust point like this you can use your cover or your free hand whichever one you find easy to use is fine so unlike the princess that's where you'll be taking out your darts from the armhole for this shoulder darts we'll be taking it out from the shoulder so what we're going to do next is that we're going to take out the darts from the shoulder part 
So place your tip on the midpoints of the shoulder. Measure the shoulder and mark your midpoints. Start marking your midpoints. Connect a straight line from that point to meet with your chest line. So you're just going to use your ruler and draw a straight line. It's going to come out looking slanty. But that's the idea. So go ahead and connect your straight line. Next thing I'm going to do is to take out my dart. So for the shoulder, I'll be taking out one and a half inches. You can take out as low as one inch or even half an inch. It all depends on how busty or how um, snatched you want the upper part to look. So I'll be taking out one and a half inches on the upper part. So on the shoulder, I'm going to mark one and a half inches and then connect that point to the chest line. So before we draw the dart, we are going to come on the chest line and go in by one inch. So after marking that one inch, we are going to connect that point to the nipple point and then connect that point as well to the upper part. So you can use your curve ruler, you can see me doing all your free hand. So just go ahead and connect the dots together from the chest line to the shoulder points. Okay now so we are going to transfer these dots we took out from the shoulder line because the the shoulder is not going to be enough anymore. So that one and a half inch I took out I just extended it on the paper and then for the chest line as well you have to extend the armhole because by the time we finish sewing everything together it's not going to be like enough and um, adequate for your chest line so what i did i went ahead i had to measure the amount of inches i have in the front and then the ones left so i know how much extra i need to replace so i need an extra one and a half inches and i'm just going to come out by that mark and mark it there so i'm going to draw a straight line to connect the dust together and just create a new armhole for myself I'll be using the same method that I used in the beginning to create the hammer. So I'm just going to connect the lines. This um, slant, I'm going to connect it to that point. So after connecting, what you want to do is to mark the midpoint, come in by 0 0.5 inches, and use your curve ruler to connect together. So, yes, this is our new armhole. So go ahead and shade it. The old one out so you don't get confused so this is the new arm who will be working with the next thing is to insert our body measurements so while inserting your body measurements always remember to replace the dart that you took out initially so you have 10 inches and you replace your extra one inch the next part I'm going to be measuring is my waistline so I'm just going to do that and connect the lines together you can measure your underbust as well, but for this tutorial, I'll be using only the waistline and the chestline for the measurements. So, for this part, I have 9 inches and I took out 2 inches initially, so I'm just going to place 2 inches and mark it. So, go ahead and connect your lines together. So, I went further to add my 1 inch stitching allowance. You can add as much as 2 inches. But I'm making use of one inch. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut it out. This is basically all for the front bodies. So go ahead and cut out your bodies. So be careful while cutting your body so you don't go and cut out the old um shoulder line so you don't make that mistake. Be very mindful of that. As So there is something we almost forgot to mention for the front bodies and this is the side that. So to get the side that you are going to be going down by 1 inch on the nipple point. So on the line where you have your shoulder to nipple point, by the edge you are going to come down by 1 inch and then you are going to mark it. So 
so for the nipple point we're also going to come in by one inch after you've done that just connect your lines together and you have your side that so this side that is mainly because the front bodies is longer than the back bodies and by the time you are done joining your fabric the sides are not going to be equal so to get the sides equal you have to use this method or you end up trimming it at the end of the day so after joining your side that this is what we have i'm going to go ahead and use my scissors to cut it to the point where i stopped the dart and then place it on top to give me the new um cut out after cutting you just go ahead and lift the lower part on top if you have a cello tape use a cello tape to hold it down but i'll be making use of a pin for mine so it's good to do this before you cut out your pattern so that you see this point where i'm holding it usually goes in so it's usually better to do it before you cut out your pattern so that if there's extra you can always add it to the allowance by the side so yeah we're done with the front bodies and we can go into the back bodies now for the back bodies i've drawn my starting point and my end point so my half length for the back is 17 inches so i just drew a straight line on the point where i marked 17 inches let's start by making our zip allowance of 2 inches all the way down So the next thing we'll be measuring is I'll show that nipple point which is 12 inches. So go ahead and mark it out and draw a straight line. So for the back bodies we are not going to be making use of the under bust. We just need our shoulder to nipple measurements, our half length and then our chest line which is like the armhole length. So after drawing a straight line just go ahead and label it. So I use the same method I use in the front bodies to determine my armhole after marking my back length and then I draw a straight line to give me my chest line. So for the front armhole I'm not going to be coming in by any curve, the curve is just going to go straight to the side. Before doing the armhole curve I came down by 1 inch for the slope and the neckline 4 inches by the side and then 2 inches depth. So I use my curve ruler to connect the lines together and then for the armhole I just place my tape and divide it by two mark the midpoint and placed my curve ruler on the point to give me a curve. So that's basically it. The next stage is the darts for the back bodies. For the darts for the darts go ahead and um, draw your nipple to nipple points. Then go by the sides by half an inch. You can go by the sides by one inch, but I'll be using half an inch for this tutorial. And then connect it to your chest line directly. So after doing this, you want to get the midpoint of your shoulder line, which is two inches. On that midpoint, you are going to connect the line to the chest line, just like we did in the front bodies. So after doing that, you want to come out by one inch. For the back bodies, I'll be coming out by one inch, since there's really no bust at the back to support that. That, so we'll be using one inch for the that shoulder that at the back. So what I'm going to do next is to replace my that on the upper part. So I'm just going to replace the that by adding extra one inch to the upper bodies, just like I did. The same technique I used in the front, the same technique I'm using at the back. The only difference is that the dart at the back is 1 inch and the dart in front was 1.5. So I'll go ahead and draw my new armhole and then create a new curve. Let's insert our body measurements and add extra 1 inch for stitching allowance. So the next stop is the zipper allowance part. For this one, I'll be coming in by one inch at the back because this client has a really deep back. You can come in as much as um, one inch. You can go in as low as 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 inches. And then I'm using the curved parts of my ruler because 
the back is not really straight it's kind of slanting so yes i'm going to connect that one inch i took out took in to the chest line as you see me doing after doing that you want to replace your zipper allowance of two inches all the way up and then just connect it like so so guys we are done with the back bodies the next thing is to cut it up so guys remember we didn't extend the neckline for the back so i'm just going to do that here I just came down by two inches like we did initially and just connected with a straight line. So yeah, we are good to go. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you've not. And please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments please. I would like to hear from you. See you guys in my next video. Bye.